think right now the church is facing many challenges. I think in some ways the biggest one is that we're too defined by what we're against, not by what we're for. You know, I'm for Jesus and therefore my whole life transforms in terms of what I live for and serve for and believe in. But I want to be defined by what I'm for, not what I'm against. And I think as a church, we need to start being on the front foot a little bit more, being shown by what we are wanting to see, not by all that we disagree with. I think the UK church could do with being more sold out in its faith. I think the UK church could do with being a little bit less half-hearted. Because frankly, Christianity is easy here. We think it's not, it's easy here. And I think we should look around the world and see that and be inspired to take our faith more seriously and make the most of the freedom we have here. I think it's important that we all realise that every one of us is scared. Bravery is not the absence of fear, it's the management of it. And I would encourage all my fellow Christian brothers and sisters in this nation to say a simple yes to God that takes them slightly out of their comfort zone. Then be prepared to take another one, and another one, and another one. It is safer to join Jesus on the water than to remain without him in the safety of the boat. So I would encourage you to take those little steps to being more dangerous for Jesus, one step at a time, and saying, all right, Lord, I will go, because you go with me. I think what makes the story of Brother Andrew so compelling is the fact that he has given his life for a cause and pursued that cause with all he has and risked everything for it. I think to someone like myself, who's, who's still very much um, in a developmental stage as a leader, you look to someone like him and you think, when I grow up, I want to be like you because he's known what he's about, he's gone after it and he's risked everything. Because let's face it, when it comes to following and serving Jesus, you're not really risking anything. You're giving back to God what is his and that is you. Open Doors is a vital ministry in this country. It matters for many reasons, but primarily, Open Doors are able to show us some of what's going on, on, on around the world, give us a window into some of what's not right, and then give us opportunities to be part of the difference within that. I'm not sure Open Doors exists to get rid of persecution. I think it exists to strengthen the muscles of those being persecuted. And without the likes of Open Doors, how would we in this comfortable Christian landscape in the United Kingdom ever know what it was like to risk your everything today in following Jesus. I praise God for Open Doors. It is a ministry for our times. Get behind it. I'm saying